Hi, welcome to Road by Culture. I'm your host, Kevin Isley. Today we're gonna to talk about coffee and the benefits of caffeine. Ah, oh, I do love coffee. Coffee is one of my favorite drinks. I can't start my day without coffee and I for sure don't start a bike ride without coffee. Coffee and cycling are joined at the hip throughout history. But what is it about coffee that makes it such an important drink for cycling? Well, it's caffeine. Caffeine is that chemical in coffee that goes into your body and changes your world. Caffeine is the biggest part of bike riding and any endurance sport. And what it does to your body is really fascinating and I don't think a lot of people know about it. That's why we're gonna talk about caffeine today. Caffeine is the most popular drug used in the world. 80% of the world's population uses caffeine. And in North America and Europe, the number one way to get caffeine is through coffee. A 2013 study concluded that five milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of weight taken one hour prior to an endurance event like cycling has a beneficial effect, whether you get that through coffee or you get that through a supplement. Five milligrams of caffeine is a lot. Let's put it like this, I weigh 86 kilograms. So five times 86 is 430 milligrams of caffeine. And there are 95 milligrams of caffeine per eight ounces of coffee. That means you are doing about five cups of coffee. That is a lot, that is a lot of coffee. But there was another study that came out and said three milligrams per kilogram of weight is as effective as five, which means that's three cups of coffee for somebody who's 86 kilograms, which puts it about right for me because before a bike ride, I drink two cups of coffee and then when I get to the cafe to meet my friends at our rendezvous point, I drink another cup of coffee or an espresso shot. So that puts me right about at three cups of coffee. And that's about what you need to get going. The benefits of caffeine from coffee kick in at about an hour after you take it, and then it lasts for two to three, and for some people, even four hours. But don't forget, caffeine is a drug. The more you use it, the more your body gets used to it, the more you have to take to get to the same beneficial effect. Once caffeine gets into your blood system, it goes to your brain and stimulates your central nervous system, giving you a heightened awareness. It also is a vasodilator and it dilates your pupils. It produces a fight or flight response. When caffeine dilates your blood vessels, it allows more red blood cells to go through your body. Red blood cells carry oxygen. So you're oxygenating your muscles as you're using them. This is a really big benefit of caffeine. And it is something that will aid the cyclist in making him a better cyclist, going longer, going harder, going faster. Caffeine increases lipolysis. It increases your muscle contraction rate and it spares the glycogen that's already stored in your muscles. And this is really important to cyclists because glycogen depletion is a limiting factor to performance. So we all know caffeine is really good before a ride, but a new Australian study has suggested that caffeine is good for recovery as well. They did a study with six milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of weight on trained athletes and they found that the glycogen uptake back into their muscles was much faster. But that's a lot of caffeine and a lot of the participants complained of insomnia, jittery, and nausea. So that's not really worth it, if you ask me. But it does help. This is the importance of caffeine on the body, on the body of an endurance athlete. So when you go out on your next bike ride and you take a drink of that coffee, you now know what caffeine does to you and how it affects your body. It is an amazing drug and it is the most popular, the most socially acceptable drug that we all do. We all drink coffee or tea. Caffeine is awesome. Well, I think that just about covers it. Coffee and caffeine, the cycle is friends. I know this video went a little longer than I usually do, but caffeine is complicated. And I wanted to get all this information out to you so every time you drink a cup of coffee, you know what's happening inside of you. It's a chemical reaction. If you like this episode, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you know anybody who is a cyclist or is trying to get into cycling and would like my channel, please pass on my channel. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter. I'm everywhere. And until the next time, I hope to see you out there drinking a cup of coffee.